Well, many health officials say mental health resources haven't been as accessible to those who need it. But one county is trying to change that. Our Brenda Mack tells us more about a new mental health initiative that was presented before the Beltrami County Board today. We need to start doing something more with the mental health deal because we've really been ignoring it for many, many, many years. Beltrami County is taking another step forward to tackle mental health issues in the area. Yes, I would say that probably at least half to three quarters of our inmates are coming in now with some form of mental illness. The growing urgency has prompted the launch of a mental health pilot program called ACT, also known as Assertive Community Treatment. In Beltrami County, we got a pilot grant from the state legislature of $2 million to create a solution to mental health. The ACT team will help people that are in kind of deep end mental health crisis be able to be treated and be able to remain in their home, remain in their community, get services where they need them. What's different about this program is its constant accessible care. Uh, the goal with ACT is to provide 24 seven care, 365 days a year. Mental health crisis doesn't know a cutoff time and it doesn't know, quite honestly, um, nighttime and weekends may be the worst times uh, for people to have their crises. So it's really great that we have the 24-7, 365 days a year. ACT addresses deeper and mental illnesses such as schizophrenia, major depression and bipolar disorders. We see it every day and uh, you know, if you're not seeing it in your own family, you're seeing it in the media, you're seeing it in the streets. It's just another step or another tool in the tool belt that we can hopefully connect and help some folks in a different way than sending them to either the jail or the hospital. The ACT program is set to launch mid-July and can serve up to 50 people. In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. The ACT program is assigned $255,000 in funding from the legislature. It is led by the Upper Mississippi Mental Health Center, and they will gain referrals through law enforcement officials in the area. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.